Hello everyone, today I'm going to have a very useful video for absolutely everyone. I'll show you some settings that you can disable to make your Wi-Fi work as it should, and even better than it currently does. Because, in fact, if you buy a new smartphone and don't configure anything on it, you might not get the full speed you need through your Wi-Fi. So, it turns out that you have a good connection, your router is delivering good speed, but your phone isn't getting that speed, and everything is really lagging and slow. I'll show you a well-hidden setting. Be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. So, to do this, you need to go to the standard settings. Click it. Then you need to scroll down and find where your Wi-Fi is located. It's usually this line, where we have the Wi-Fi icon. Click it. Then, look through all the settings for Wi-Fi Assistant. By the way, if you can't find this line, try searching for it in the settings. Click here. There. By default, it will be disabled for everything. It's called Wi-Fi Prioritization. This means it controls the bandwidth of your Wi-Fi, your apps, and background downloads. You need to activate this slider. Next, look, we have two functions. At first, you'll have balanced, which means it allocates equal bandwidth to all apps, including background downloads. This means, for example, that absolutely all apps, even system ones, will receive your internet connection. So, let's say you launch YouTube, it will only get 5 megabits per second. The same applies to other apps that you don't use at all, which is why everything can really slow down. This is especially true for those who play online games or watch online services. Everything will slow down there because the speed is allocated equally to all apps. Because the speed isn't enough, everything can lag. Of course, you should select the second option. It's more accurate. It's enhanced performance, which allocates almost all bandwidth to the specific app you're running. So, if you're running YouTube, it will get the maximum speed. If you're running a browser, for example, the browser will get the maximum speed, and so on. But background downloads, background activities, and processes won't be allocated any bandwidth. And that's exactly how it should be. Why waste bandwidth on other apps you're not currently using? Enable this option, and you'll be amazed. Your Wi-Fi will fly, your internet will show significantly higher speeds, and you'll be very, very happy.